What's up, y'all? Lex is cooking dinner today. Yeah! Here. So, okay, this is what I'm making. I'm making, so we've been eating keto. Um, mostly. Mostly like keto. Like 90% of the time. Yeah. Even though we've never vlogged anything yeah. keto. We do eat keto like 90% of the time, but keto meals can be kind of boring. So we usually right. vlog like a cheat day or something. Exactly. I'm cooking just like what we eat for dinner on a regular night. Um, and yeah, basically I made this up because uh, we wanted some variety on this diet. It's very boring. Um, but the problem with the variety is they'll tell you like make some almond bread, almond this and that, and like basically bread Cauliflower replacement, rice. cauliflower rice, and it's like that stuff gets old. Like after you and eat, expensive. and it's expensive. Yeah, after you eat so much of it, it's like it just doesn't satiate you, you know. So what I've got here is um, I'm making some. I already cut up my beef, but I'm making some beef with peppers and broccoli and bacon. Um, in a skillet, but I'm going to make like a, I'm gonna make it kind of like a pasta. Like you could consider it like a beef stroganoff, but instead of noodles, you have like peppers and broccoli. Um, and the sauce is gonna be made of cheese, bacon grease, olive oil, and my seasoning. So I already did the bacon. Now it's time to cook the other stuff. So what are you doing now? So I put the broccoli in a skillet. I'm about to put these peppers in the skillet with the broccoli um, on medium heat with bacon grease. So we're playing video games tonight with the Couch Gang and so Brad is setting up the Xbox um, back in the studio and he's getting all the controllers and like, he's getting everything set up so that we can play back there. Cause the last time we played, we played in the living area. I don't know what you would call it, it's not really the living room. It's like that extra little slice of the trailer. And um, it just didn't look the best. All right, so the veggies are ready? So yeah, so the veggies are, they're pretty soft. But I don't wanna get them too soft cause I don't, want, I, don't, I don't like it when it's like extra soft. Now I'm gonna add in my meat. This is just my beef and I've already cut it up. We like to have our beef raw-ish. Like we like to keep it not, I don't know. I don't know like how to talk Medium rare. Yeah, I don't know. But we don't like it to be very well done. But and that, so, if you cook in a skillet, it's gonna be more like medium well. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty well. Like wild. if you made it in the air fryer, then it'd probably be medium rare or medium. Getting wild with the seasoning yeah. tonight. So now I'm putting seasoning on the beef. This is just the seasoning, um, my seasoning from the cookbook, the Cajun seasoning. And it's like trying to make me sneeze right now. So basically I'm just gonna put that in there and then I'm going to fold the veggies on top of the meat to allow it to uh, cook faster. So yeah, I'm gonna let that sit for like five minutes. I don't know, not even five minutes. Because next I'm gonna add the stuff to make the sauce. Now here is what I'm going to use for the sauce. So it's going to be an oil-based sauce. I already have bacon grease in the skillet that's cooking the peppers, the broccoli, the meat. Um, I'm going to add some olive oil. And then here I've got like a heaping handful of mozzarella cheese. I've got like two ounces of cubed um, cheddar cheese. And I've got um, two tablespoons of butter. And um, like six strips of bacon chopped up. Where's the butter? Oh, Usually you would have like a milk-based sauce or something like that, um, and it'd be kind of watery. But I want it to be oil-based so that once it cools, mm -hmm. the cheese and stuff turns into like queso, like a paste. <laughs> Where did you come up with this recipe? <laughs> I don't know in my head. <laughs> I like this recipe. But I didn't know it was all like this. I've never actually watched you cook it. Yeah, I love the mixture of like bacon grease, olive oil, and butter. And I usually cook yeah, broccoli that's like your with that. signature. Yeah, it just, it like, it works really well together. I just put all that on top. Now I'm gonna take this olive oil and drizzle it over the top. It's looking good. So um, I'm just going through and I'm pressing the cheese because it's, it's very soft, but I want it to be fully mixed into the sauce. And I'm tossing it around. It's pretty much done. Um, but yeah, I want to make sure the cheese is all fully mixed in. This is not a beautiful plate, but you know. It looked good to me. <laughs> That's a lot. It's for you. You're big, 
okay? You're big. <laughs> This is the finished product. I promise you, it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> How is it? Mm, I like this meal a lot. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's layered. The flavors kind of kick in. Yeah, like you get like the butter or olive oil that kicks in late. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. It was an accident. <laughs> it just fell down my throat. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it just slid down your throat. Mm -hmm. It just slid down. Mm -hmm. It was nice and lubricated. Mm -hmm. Oil is a better lubricant than water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what do you guys want us to make next? Um, let us know in the comments and uh most liked comment will make it yeah. within reason. Within if we're reason following our budget, if it's some like five thousand dollar meal, yeah, we're probably not right. gonna make that. And we try to eat keto, so if it's car low carb or carb free, that's even better. Um, oh, and who do you want to cook it? Me or him? I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. The go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know.